move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. He's got it with the 15. And in for the Steelers touchdown. DJ Moore, 53 yards. And the Steelers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. After a fairly uneventful first quarter, that last play. Yeah, in a couple ways, partner, because... Oh, this is blocked. That's a live ball scooped up by the offense. A call it luck or skill. Moore, the motion man right. Allen going to fake the jet sweep and the handoff and look to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really good pick up of 28 yards. Well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a yeah, those tight ends for a very nice pickup. A dump off here for goal. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Can we get this guys on the ground? We can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be out of trouble. Keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board. Those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 30 field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, touchdown! From three yards out. And the Steelers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it. Keeping the play with Steel City of Pittsburgh, PA. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the Steelers are going to get it back here just past the 35. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. And keep the ball away from their opponents. On the counter, Gore. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Eluding the pressure right. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the 30. Another carry now for Gore. Breaks the tackle now with Allen. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you see guys with their hands on their hips, they bend over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. Buying time to his left. The Dolphins going to take Allen now looks to throw. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. A great play there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Steelers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now throwing now is Allen. And the Steeler pressure too much. Here. And the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. Oh, that's sweet. What an effort. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how the defense... They frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The, the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. 
So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked.